February 24th. It is 52 degrees out. There's still plenty of snow on the ground, which you'll see in a minute. But I'm going to document these last few days of the week on my lunch breaks and see if I can catch the first emergence of any early garter snakes. <laughs> it's not much, but this is, you know, the mid-Atlantic. You got to take what you can get. So let's see how we can do. First, I'm going to check this rock wall where I've had luck in the past. I'm trying to avoid as much snow as I can. This doesn't look good. Here's my rock wall. Hmm. So in the past, I've had a lot of luck with them basking right here and the sun is really warm. The issue, at least with day one here, is that they're in this wall. And as you can see, I don't think they're going to crawl out on the snow. I mean, weirder things have happened, but maybe as this melts throughout the week, we'll have a little better luck. going to check this side where the sun is hitting. Maybe we can see a head popping out somewhere. Nobody's awake yet. Okay, so I'm going to move on to a more natural area, a denning area where I know the uh, gar snakes brewmate along a lake. See how we're doing there. I'm not expecting much with all the snow still, but like I said, I'm going to document the week and see how things change. Not sure if you can hear these two male cardinals with the traffic, but I had my first cardinal singing this morning at 6.15 when I left the house. So it looks like they're already having a territorial dispute. These woods will be alive with spring peepers very soon few weeks. This is great. The sun is so warm. I want to feel what the ground feels like. Yeah, the ground is definitely warm enough for snakes to be laying out. We just need another day, I think, to coax them out, though. Yo, for the record, if you're ever on these types of uh, walkways with this ice, this stuff is just, it's a nightmare. And you could kill yourself on this, so I'm going to be really careful. It's so damn slippery, it's ridiculous. They really should have warning signs. This is my second favorite place to look for garters. This little wetland right here supports peepers and actually state endangered Atlantic Coast leopard frog that until a decade ago, they did not realize was a different species in the southern leopard frog. But I'll tell you more about them later in the season when I find one. I heard some rusty blackbirds deep in this. Well, that's day one, it's Wednesday. Let's see how Thursday and Friday look. No garters today, but not terribly disappointed. At least it's beautiful out until tomorrow. So this is day two in my search for garter snakes as I trip over a log. Um, the sun's been strong all day. Oh, there's a turtle out. Okay, this is good. Uh, sun's been strong all day, although yesterday it got up to 54 and today's only 46 and it's a little windier. So let's see how we do. If it was a, nah, you know what? I'm gonna say we're gonna find one. Let's see how we do. I see a turtle. I think we're gonna find a garter. As you can see, much less snow than there was yesterday. That's a good sign. I just wish I had more time to actually give this the proper um, chance at finding something, but I gotta work with what I have. Why are people assholes? So you can see the water is definitely looking less frozen than it was yesterday, but I'm not finding anything. So I'm going to go check out that rock wall real quick before calling it quits before I have to get back to work. You can see this looks a lot different than it did yesterday. And these leaves are really pretty warm. 
but I'm not seeing anybody yet. Day two got beat by nature again. Um, it's winning. I'll give it another shot tomorrow. You know, I, I guess I should mention that. I'm not even sure if, if there's anything denning here, but it has in the past, so it's worth checking. It's my lunch break, and I'm going to attempt to go find a spotted turtle really quick. I only have about 20 minutes on site. Uh, I'm a one-man show at work, so I can't really leave the place too for too long. So I'm not expecting to find any, but it is 50 degrees. It's been sunny all day. If this was the second day of warmth, I feel like I might have a better shot, but yesterday's high was 35 with nighttime lows in the, at 23 degrees. So hopes aren't too high, but we'll see. So unfortunately, I forgot that I had my boots on when I got home from road cruising the other night and I gotta kind of traverse all this mud with my sneakers on. I don't have an extra pair, so. One thing of note is there's no spring peepers calling yet. And I guess I should mention really quick too that I'm here for spotted turtles, but you know, I would be happy seeing my first garter snake of the year as well. Not so sure we're ready for this yet. The good thing are the vernals are not frozen. Unfortunately, we have another cold front coming, so if not today, next week, I'm calling it. Well, unfortunately, this was my best bet on this log or board or whatever that is out there. I've sometimes seen three or four spotted turtles up there, but somebody just came by with a dog and beat me to the spot. So even if there was some there, they, I'm sure they dropped in because they're pretty skittish. So I guess I'll never know as far as that goes. There's somewhere over here used to be a garter den. I didn't see any here last year, but who knows? It's worth looking for. Let's see if I can find it. All right, I found the holes, but they look flooded. Yeah, this hole I've seen upwards of 12 garters hanging out in. Good afternoon. I have a, about an hour after work. I'm just going to meet Matt up in a local preserve here and see if we can flip any salamanders. More uh, to the point, I want to see if there's any wood frogs calling yet. There's a few peepers calling today on my lunch break at a different spot. And uh, curious to see if the wood frogs have made it to the pools here yet. It is now March 8th and check this out. I, uh, it's only 39 degrees out, but it was a lot of sun and the, the, the low last night was 23. So I didn't think uh, anything was gonna happen, but I have my first local snake of the year. Walking along this, being serenaded by the loud ass geese. And here we go. Garter snake number one of the year, March 8th. 39 degrees. So when they're out to bask at this time of year, I know they're just coming out of their hibernaculum. I don't touch them or mess with them. You know, of course, like they might get a little skittish and move. That's fine. But like, I don't put hands on them at all. Uh, I want to disturb them as little as I can. Uh, for selfish reasons as well as for what's good for the snake like i, I want to keep seeing them so i don't want to drive them away number one but number two you know i just they rely on these spots and they're this guy's obviously out here to thermoregulate so he's not getting from here to there so me holding him is just kind of unnecessary right now you can see on his back side the last two-thirds of his body it's a little rusty colored that's probably just the mud uh, from when he was down in the ground and this proves something to me um, this area was flooded over from the vernals here to this lake straight across and I don't know what these guys do when they're covered in water but they know how to survive oh that was exciting I gotta get back to work uh, <laughs> 
I'm gonna pass by this guy again. I knew with the warm up coming that I would definitely see a snake at some point this week. Uh, I did not expect it to be today. The sun's strong, but it's a bit breezy. And like I said, it's 39 degrees out, but that's great because now I'm gonna focus my efforts on finding the first spotted turtle of the year. And I got my lunch breaks to do it this week. So let's see how that goes.